Black Lives Matter protests is entering its fifth week of demonstrations. Colonial statues and monuments which glorify racism around the world are being either defaced or toppled. The destruction of these monuments comes as a reaction to constant racial abuse and the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis last month. Another statue of Christopher Columbus was removed from New Haven's Wooster Square. Angry demonstrators who hit the streets had demanded that the statue be removed because it represented and justified slavery. Earlier this week, statues of Columbus, a statue of Columbus in fact, was beheaded in Boston and torn down using ropes in Minneapolis, Minnesota and Virginia as well. In South Carolina's Charleston, local workers used a crane to lift the statue of politician John C. Calhoun from the high platform above the Marion Square. Calhoun was an American politician and statesman who defended slavery and also served as 7th former Vice President of the United States of America. Tell them we got it. The decision to topple the statue comes after the city's council took a unanimous vote to remove the statue after the massive protests took over the city demanding equality. Demonstrations at Capitol Square in Madison, Wisconsin turned violent and destructive. The angry protesters tore down two statues, one a statue of Wisconsin's motto, which read forward, and another statue of Colonel Hans Christian, a politician and soldier who had died fighting against slavery. Sir, I'm calling an ambulance for you. Tony Evers, the state's senator who was filming the protest, collapsed after he was attacked by a group of protesters. As of now, both the statues have been recovered and the police is investigating the matter. As protesters continue to target many statues and monuments as homage to George Floyd, who was killed in police custody on the 25th of May, President Trump has said that he would sign an executive order to protect all U.S. historical monuments. Uh, I think that... Uh we're going to have a very strong executive order, but we already have very strong. We have the Monuments Act already, which, which means 10 years in jail. But I think we're going to consolidate various things. We're going to come out with a very strong executive order, and I should have that by the end of the week, which is fast approaching. Uh, we're going to have it, uh, very, very, a very powerful uh, statement. These demonstrations also come along with massive Black Lives Matter protests that have spread across the United States of America demanding police reforms and racial justice.